We only hire people from the UCB if we can help it. They have all the secrets of the horrible things we did backstage. And they so have to. We have to pay them so they'll keep quiet. Yeah, yeah. I've been performing improv here at the UCB Theater for almost exactly 20 years. About 30 years. 24 years? Since 1997? Since 1995, what? actually, what? yeah. 32 years. Oh my goodness. I've been improvising since 1990. You do the math. <laughs> One of the first DCMs was back at the theater on uh, 22nd Street, and it used to be a, a small burlesque theater. A group of men would come in with their hats pulled down <laughs> and they'd slip some money over to you and they would come in and just disrupt the, the audience and sit down for a while and then after a while they'd realize it wasn't a burlesque theater. Rachel Dratch and Tina Fey had a sketch show that I saw so many times I memorized it and like a psycho I would be back by the light booth like mouthing all the words and to this day when Tina Fey like enters a room if I'm there she's, she's like she feels unsafe but she doesn't know why. We had a nice couch back there so I just would pass out. Uh, I was snoring so loud that people could hear it on stage in the audience. Yeah I would imagine that Horatio's uh, drunk passed out DCM marathon snore would be something like this. My favorite memory is being run over by a motorized beer cooler. Robin Williams showed up to do an improv jam uh, and uh, it was amazing. My old girlfriend uh, came to see a show with her best friend and her best friend left the theater without talking to her and then left town. She's supposed to be visiting <laughs> and just was so upset by some of the stuff that we said. We'd all gather in Tompkins Square in Alphabet City tons of improvisers, they would take a suggestion from a random stranger in the park, get a one word suggestion, start chanting that suggestion and start a march through the streets and they would pour into the theater right as the marathon started and give us the word to start the marathon. Worst suggestion you can get as an improviser is proctologist and I don't know why that's the go-to. Cream corn. Maybe dildo. Sperm! We did a, like a Torco show at a place where people had, weren't having a lot of improv comedy, and we asked for a suggestion, and a guy screamed out, be funny, and that was pretty tough stuff. <laughs> One year we convinced Brooke Shields to come on and play Brooke Shields, and it was uh, one of the highlights to have Brooke Shields at three in the morning under a dirty, uh, under a Gristides. I never once walked into Gristides. How crazy <laughs> is that? By the seafood section, they had like a, a captain, and it'd be like, ahoy, get your seafood. And also they had this, you know, disgusting pipes that would run below us. That was my experience yeah. with Gristides, is the water that dripped on my head. When I hosted Askhead, I'd be like, please, when you're leaving, drop a dollar in the bucket because uh, we have to buy bins to keep uh, <laughs> water from falling on us. Nothing against Gristides. Nothing against Gristides. Most of them are very clear. We want to emphasize Gristides yeah, is a great company. Great bread. Great, 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 great milk. Great yogurts. Ooh, that was close.